time can be an issue when it's time to make supper. But if you have a few special ingredients in the freezer, you can put a meal together in just minutes. Tonight I'm going to show you how I like to use frozen tortellini and not just put a jar of marinara sauce over it, which is easy to do. But this is even easier. So wait till you see how this goes. I've heated a skillet over medium high heat. I've got a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of sesame oil in the pan. It's already hot. And I'm going to take one package of frozen tortellini. Now be careful when you add this to the pan because it'll spit and sputter a little bit because it's got the um, frozen wetness on it. So I'm going to put these in the pan. They're frozen. And I want to make sure that they're in a single layer in the pan because I want that bottom side to brown. So it'll take just a couple minutes. They'll get nice and brown and I'm not going to flip them over. Now, I'm just going to flip one of these over. Ah, nice and brown on the bottom. So right on top of my tortellini, I'm gonna put some frozen veggies. They're frozen right out of the freezer and I use whatever I have on hand. Today I happen to have some edamame, some frozen butternut squash and some red pepper. So I'm gonna sprinkle that right over the top of my tortellini. And notice I still haven't flipped my tortellini. And once again, you're gonna get some hissing and roaring from the pan. But I'm especially going to get that when I add about three tablespoons of water. I'm going to put the top on and let it steam for three to five minutes. So after three to five minutes, take the lid off. Oh, that looks so nice and colorful. Now comes the sauce. And this is just my stir fry sauce. I always make a double batch and I always have some in the fridge. And so this is what I had left in my refrigerator of my stir fry sauce. And by the way, this is my all purpose brown stir fry sauce that's in my um, homemade with honey cookbook. But we'll also have it on our website too so you can get the recipe. But just use your favorite sauce and I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. And once that sauce is heated through, your meal is ready to eat. It's a meal in minutes and it's so easy when you have just these few things in your freezer. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.